Enhance AI is one of the most popular tools in Luminar Neo. With two simple sliders, you can enhance and develop your images in just a few seconds. Now in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to use this tool and how to get the most out of it. And off we go into the Luminar Neo, where we starting in the catalog module. Now we have a three images we're going to be using for today's class. So let's select the first one and move into the edit module. In the edit module, to access the enhanced AI, we need to go into our main toolbar into the essential section. And the second tool here is the enhanced AI. If for some reason you can't see it, there is a chance that it is inside of your favorites section. You can see it on the top here. It may be even closed. Maybe you can't see it. So just click on it and access it from here. Now to remove it or move it back into the essential section, just right click on it, select remove from favorites and access it just like me here. Now, just like any of the tool here in the editing toolbar, just click on it and open it. Now, what about the enhanced AI? How does it work? What are the different sliders? Well, for this, we can ask my friend Lumibot. Great question, Jakub. Enhance AI is one of the most powerful and beginner-friendly tools in Luminar Neo. It's designed to give your photos an instant boost, all with the help of artificial intelligence. Let me walk you through it. Accent AI. This is the main slider inside Enhance AI. It analyzes your entire photo and automatically improves things like exposure, contrast, color, tone, and even details. Behind the scenes, it's actually using over a dozen traditional controls, but you only need to move one slider. So whether your photo looks flat, dull, or slightly off, Accent AI brings it to life in a natural, beautiful way. It's fast, smart, and super intuitive. Sky Enhancer AI. Now, if your photo includes some sky, this tool gets to work enhancing it. It improves the texture, color, and depth of the sky, making it more dramatic or vivid without touching the rest of your photo. It can even tell the difference between sky, water, and foreground objects for clean masking. Just a heads up though, if the sky enhancer slider is grayed out, it means Luminar couldn't detect a clear sky. Maybe it's too small, too blurred, or not prominent enough in the frame. Bottom line, Enhance AI gives you fast, intelligent edits with almost no learning curve. Move a slider and let the AI do the hard work. Thank you for the explanation. That was great. Anytime. Let me know if you need help with anything else. By the way, if you want to learn more about Lumibot and get your 24-7 virtual assistant for Luminar Neo, just follow the link in the description of this video. Okay, but let's go back into our tool where again we have the Accent AI slider and Sky Enhancer AI. So, as you heard, the Accent AI, by increasing it, it applies up to 12 different adjustments. And you can see it when we go slowly, it starts to adjust the image. And when we go all the way, it applies a number of things, including shadows, highlights, exposure, and so on. Now, the Accent AI works globally on the entire image, where in the contrast to that, we have the Sky Enhancer AI, which creates a separate mask for the sky. And by increasing it, it adjusts it, it adjusts saturation, highlights, structure, and so on. So you can go really crazy with it all the way to 100, or you can be just gentle with it and apply something around 20 or 30. Now, just like any of the tools in Luminar Neo, you can reset the sliders by double clicking on them and that will reset them back to zero or to the default value. Now, what about enhanced AI and masking? Well, of course that you can use it in combination with masking. Well, first of all, let's say that we just increase the accent AI, apply a little bit of sky enhancer, and that is our overall global development. Then we close the tool, apply the edit to our image and open the enhanced AI again. Now, in this case, I want to use the accent AI, but only for the landscape, not for the sky. So how do we do this? Well, let's increase the accent AI and let's have a look at the amount we want to apply. Let's say, well, somewhere around 50. Now, how do we select the land? Well, the easiest way to do this is to move into the masking where, of course, we have access to all the traditional tools like brush, linear gradient, radial gradient, color, luminosity, mask AI, object select AI, and so on. 
Now for this, the easiest way to do this is to go into the mask AI, which by selecting it, it will create automatic mask for different parts of your image. In our case, let's select the sky. And once we do that, the easiest way to select the landscape is then to go back, navigate into the mask actions, where we're gonna click on invert. By doing that, the mask is now applied to the landscape, basically to anything other than the sky. So if I would click on invert again, it would select the sky and invert again, and it's the landscape. Let's click on show to hide the mask, go back to the adjustments, where again, we can adjust the accent AI. So you can apply as much as you want. And to finish it off, don't forget about the eye icon, which allows you to see the before and after for this specific tool. Also the arrow, which will allow you to reset the tool. And then there is the eye in a circle where if you click on it, it will show you a quick description of this specific tool. And now the enhanced AI, as you can see here, works very well on raw files. So you can use it for basic development or you can also use it on JPEGs. So let's have a look at it. Let's move to the JPEG, which is our second file here. Now this has been already edited and developed, but of course you can still jump in, open the enhanced AI, and for example, apply the accent AI, which will still apply some additional adjustments. And sometimes it can actually still take the image and make it even nicer. Of course, that you can also apply the sky enhancer just like this here. Just remember that when you editing JPEGs, you want to be a little bit more careful with the sliders as if you overdo it, it will just look way over processed and not really nice. So when you are using it on JPEGs, try to stay in a lower part of the sliders. So those are the JPEGs. Now, traditionally, the enhanced AI is used at the beginning of the edit. However, you can also use it to help with blending. Well, let me show you. We have this image right here. It was a raw image. It started here. I have applied some basic development using the develop raw tool. And now I just want to change the sky. Well, for this, we're going to go into the landscape tools, open the sky AI. From here, I'm just going to select any sky here. So let's go for this one. Now the application will very easily select the sky. Let's quickly just move it to make sure that we have the horizon right here. From here, quickly into the scenery light. Let's just adjust that. And that's it. Sky replaced. Now it doesn't look great, right? I mean, the sky looks good. It follows the direction of the light and everything else. However, in overall, it just needs a little bit of blending. So the new sky looks good with the original image. Now, I quite like to use the mood tool and LUTs for that, but you can also use the enhanced AI. And to do that, well, back into the essentials, open the enhanced AI. And now when we apply the enhanced AI, it will take the new sky into the consideration. So let's do that. When we do that, when we increase it, suddenly it's not only enhancing our original image, but the new sky with it. And of course that you can also apply the sky enhancer at the same time, you can do that. So by doing this, we are blending the two images together or the two elements, the sky and photo and make it even more believable. So let's have a look before and after. I think this is much better. Again, you can still adjust it. If you think that the sky enhancer is a bit strong, you can bring it down, maybe bring down the accent AI, close the accent AI and then do anything else you would like to. Now, this was the enhanced AI. However, we do have a video tutorial for every single tool in this application. So don't stop now, continue learning, improve your photo editing and get the most out of this incredible photo editing application. To do that, just click on one of the videos on your screen or even better, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Clever Photographer.